mark mark 40 enemies with a recon drone and a co-op operation that seems pretty easy wait wait a sec 40 enemies who are riding vehicles with a recon drone and co-op operation the hell how are you supposed to do that uh, get 30 long shots with the r90 shotgun and any co-op uh, that's annoying but easy 15 quad kills with a sniper or marksman rifle and co-op okay get 10 kills with the crossbow while sliding with alice as your demon dogs operator in any co-op operation bruh what get two suicide bomber kills with a joker launcher in any co-op operation what the f get one kill with any deployable crate in any co bruh has infinity ward lost their goddamn mind and that was pretty much word for word my reaction when i discovered the hard-boiled challenge in modern warfare this was added with season four reloaded and turns out it's actually not quite as hard as i initially thought it's actually easier than the aug silver star co-op challenge if you guys did that from uh, a couple of seasons ago it only took me a couple hours to complete the hard boiled and i have some tips to help you get through it easy so let's jump into it what's going on guys my name is sinister skater welcome to the channel i do just want to say first things first before we get into the tips that modern warfare does definitely have some interesting challenges all the co-op ones are very grindy although i feel like this hardboard one is the least grindy out of them all it's just very specific things that you have to do for this some of the war zone ones though they're just thank god for plunder so you can just get kills with shotguns and plunder because using shotguns in battle royale are going to be a pain in the ass but i saw you have to get two point blank double kills in war zone with a shotgun like, how the hell are you supposed to do that? Some of these challenges in this game are just absurd. I mean, I like that there's challenging things to do, things to grind for, but I at least make the reward somewhat worth it. Some of these rewards just aren't even worth it. You guys will have to let me know if this old chestnut variant you get for doing the hard boy challenge is worth it or not. So let's go through this challenge right here. First thing you have to do is mark 40 enemies who are riding in vehicles with a recon drone in any co-op mission. So first thing you want to make sure you have on is the recon class so you can get the recon drone. And the easiest way to complete this challenge I found is to go into the harbinger mission. You can also do this in Operation Crosswind right before you board the plane. There's a lot of vehicles to do there but i like harbinger because the vehicles come fairly early on in the mission within the first minute whereas ross when you have to play for i don't know five minutes ten minutes to get to the vehicle part so in harbinger as soon as someone picks up the third intel i like to throw down my deployable cover in the corner take out my riot shield and then call in my recon drone so i have maximum protection from enemies that are coming in to try and kill me and then as soon as you get in that recon drone you want to fly out that building fly high towards the sky because enemies can shoot down your recon drone and then head east you're going to be wanting to aim down and you'll see this vehicle coming towards you from the east and as soon as that vehicle starts to go under you you want to start backtracking tag all the people in that vehicle as it passes and then turn around and you'll see another truck that you can go and tag some people in and then there's also a helicopter that'll give you like another six or so people that you can tag once you do that, you can simply restart the mission or another helicopter does respawn with some more enemies for you every once in a while. Sometimes I'll stay around and do one more recon drone. I can get like 14 to 15 enemies tagged in one game doing that strat or you can just back out and do it again. It's pretty simple to do this once you have the tools. It'll probably take you like three to five runs of Harbinger in the beginning to complete this. For the R90 shotgun kills, it's pretty straightforward. The easiest way to get long shots though is to use these slug rounds and you can just one shot people from across the map you knock those down pretty quickly and with the quad kills with a marksman rifle i definitely recommend the sks because it'll give you the most ammo and you just run through strong box and just kill multiple enemies when you get to the door cut down part they spawn like infinite amount of enemies in groups of eight i think so you can blow through that pretty easy and for these challenges if you are struggling just to stay alive i do like to use armor catches to just resupply my armor whenever i can uh the assault class is great to get the insta reload from the stopping power rounds especially for the marksman rifle quads because if you get low on a clip and you want to squeeze another kill out for that quad you can just activate your ability and you'll instantly have more ammo to work with crossbow kills are pretty straightforward you just have to make sure you have alice equipped as your operator and you're just gonna have to slide all around the map my strategy I did was to use a stun grenade with the restock perk, so I always had stuns coming. I throw the stun at someone, slide towards them, 
hit fire when I got close and just rinse and repeat. Now, these suicide bomber kills with the Joker launcher, I thought, how? I'm gonna have to get someone to like train these guys around off a building, blah, 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 blah. But it's actually pretty easy to do again on Operation Strongbox. Once you cut down the doors with the saws, they spawn an infinite amount of suicide bombers until you progress to the next mission. If you get a deployable cover, you can throw this down in the hallway to cut off the suicide bombers and give you some more space and time to work with. And then you simply just have to aim down the hall at a long enough distance so the joker will lock on and then kind of just play with the lock on kind of charge it up so it's ready so as soon as you hear a suicide bomber coming around the corner or you see one on your screen you continue to hold that trigger and let the rocket fly and you get your easy suicide bomber kills that way a major tip if you're doing this on console i'd recommend turning off your aim assist because it's really annoying when you're locking on your joker and then your enemy runs in front of you aim assist will unlock your joker and you lost your window of opportunity to get your kill so if you turn aim assist off you don't have to deal with that just make sure you turn it back on as soon as you finish because i realized i was playing two days without aim assist on i was wondering why i was doing so bad when i was playing warzone and i finally realized what the problem was when i was playing some multiplayer earlier today and as for the last mission to get a deployable crate kill Apparently this is auto completing for everyone so you don't have to worry about doing this but if this does get patched in the future all you need to do is knock an enemy down and then quickly throw a either an ammo a grenade or an armor cash box that you get from the free munitions and just kill them with that. Pretty straightforward to do. The only annoying thing is getting an enemy knocked down. Sometimes they'll die very quickly before you can hit them with a box. Sometimes they'll crawl away. It's all up to RNG, uh, but again, pretty straightforward to do. And that goes for a lot of these challenges. It seemed really complicated at first, but again, I completed all these in a couple hours. It was much easier than the Aug Silver Star challenge I had to do a couple months ago. So when you do complete this, you do get the M13 Old Chestnut, which is an epic blueprint. It comes with the Tempest Cyclone Barrel, the TAC Laser, the Operator Reflex Sight, and the M13 Skeleton Stock. It kind of has that Scar H Seasonal Officer Blueprint vibe to it, where it's kind of like, it looks like it's built from a bunch of different parts as duct tape around it it's not a bad looking blueprint and you get a unique stock and i think the most rare thing out of all this is you get a colored optic a lot of the optics and all the blueprints are just like a darker shade of black this one actually has a like faded red color to it which is pretty neat so there's tips for the hard boiled challenge i'm curious to see what other challenges infinity ward will throw at us in the future i'd like to see them do some more stuff with like the regular spec ops too the modern warfare version of spec ops is cool but i like to see you know the classic mission oriented spec ops i like to see some cooler incentives to get into those so that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did hit that like button consider subscribing turning on the bell notification check the links down below in the description if you'd like to help support my channel as always thanks for watching my name is Skater. i'll catch you all on the next video peace out <laughs>